Hi everyone, so as some of you may have noticed from my Twitter post, I recently got a motorcycle and I figured I'd show you all the vegan motorcycle gear I use to stay safe on the road and prevent me from getting f***ed up when I fall. So uh, let's start from top to bottom, starting with the helmet. So this is a CKX 16 rr um, it's not an amazing helmet. I mean, I got it on sale for $90, so it's not too expensive, but um, it does fit well, uh, it feels comfortable, and uh, I'd say the best thing about it is it is quiet. Um, I only have my M1 license right now, so I can't go on the highway, but I have traveled up to 80 kilometers an hour with this thing, and uh, it was quite quiet. There's no whistling or howling in your ear. And um, it does fog up very easily, especially in cold weather. Um, you can just lift open the face shield a tad, and then you know your fogging problem solved. But then, of course, it's going to be a bit louder. Um, so I can't really say too much about this. Um, it's not amazing. Obviously, I didn't spend too much money on it. Um, but it is quiet. It does feel comfortable. Uh, and as long as you're not really going too fast, I'd say this is a pretty safe helmet. It is DOT certified. Uh, I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this going on, like, traveling highway speeds. I'd upgrade to something a bit better. But for a beginner helmet, um, if you're just going to be traveling around the city like I am right now, it's not too bad. And for my jacket, I've got the Icon Merc Vitrol jacket. This is a very good jacket, especially for the money. You've got D30 impact protectors at the shoulders, elbows, uh, and back. Uh, and it feels like it's just a normal jacket. This is incredibly comfortable. Uh, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a motorcycle jacket. Uh, also, it says that it's water resistant. This is pretty much waterproof. Uh, I was riding with this in the rain for about six hours. And uh, I did not get wet. I was only wearing a t-shirt on and pretty much no moisture soaked through. And it's also very, very warm. Uh, at, in five degree weather, in pretty, like I'd say medium style rain, I stayed warm with just a t-shirt on. Um, it does have, um, what do you call them? It does have these armpit openings so you can uh, let some more air flow through. This does make it a lot cool, uh, cooler if you're gonna wear it in warmer weather. But uh, this is sort of a beginning end of season jacket just because of how warm it is. It is pretty stuffy. But uh, in colder weather, this performs great. Uh, really good protection as well, and it's super comfortable. So uh, highly recommend. Now my gloves. So for vegans, it's very easy to find vegan motorcycle helmets. Virtually no helmets these days are made with leather because uh, people want to save weight on the helmet. So leather is very heavy. It's easier to use synthetic fabrics and stuff. Uh, jackets, most of them are textile mesh. Very easy for vegans to find, uh, you know, vegan jackets. Gloves are by far the hardest thing for vegans to find. Uh, very few companies offer vegan gloves. Um, I know Al Alpine Stars makes at least one vegan glove. And other than that, I couldn't find anything until I came across the company Speedy. Now, Speedy is a European make, um, so their sizing, for the most part, is a bit different than uh, American makes, but uh, with these, these are the Speedy Rain Shield H2, H2O Out gloves. Uh, these use American sizing, and actually they fit a bit big. Usually I'm an extra large in a glove. These are just a these fit just a tad large, so like these fit fine for me, but they are just a little bit big. There's a tiny bit of space at the tip of my fingers. Um, these are quite good. Uh, you've got, you know, you've got some uh, extra synthetic material here for when uh, your palm hits the ground, so you have some more abrasion resistance. Uh, you do get some extra material in spots where there's going to be a bit more wear and tear or like out here in the pinky, you've get you've got more extra material for when you slide, so you know you're you don't get some road rash. Uh, pretty good knuckle armor right here. It's just plastic. You've also got a little bit of rubber padding here around uh, the fingers. Uh, so the thing with these gloves is they're called the Rain Shield H2O Out, and if you visit like a retailer website like Revzilla, they claim these are uh, waterproof. 
These are not waterproof. Uh, they're good in the rain, they're water resistant, but they're far from waterproof. Um, I was doing my motorcycle safety course in the rain and I was outside for six hours. Right around the two hour mark, that's when water started to soak through. I think for most people, like that's fine. I don't think too many people are riding their bike in the rain for over two hours, but um, yeah, they're not waterproof. Uh, that kind of annoyed me that they claim they're waterproof when they're not. Uh, but they are quite good in the rain, and they are fairly warm. Uh, again, I was riding outside in like five degree weather, medium style rain, and uh, I stayed fairly warm until like right at the very end, uh, at around five hours, that's when my fingers started to get really cold and they were getting really numb. So that's pretty decent. Uh, they're good in the cold weather, and because they fit a little loose, you could probably uh, slide like a heated glove underneath, and uh, it would fit pretty well, wouldn't be too tight. So uh, I'd say these are good in cool and cold weather. Uh, they're decent in the rain, and they're vegan. Uh, Speedy does make a few vegan gloves aside from this. I think they make three or four other vegan gloves. So, um, yeah, again, it's really hard for vegans to find vegan gloves. Uh, Speedy is a really good make. Uh, just keep in mind, they are a European brand. Uh, I think most of their glove sizing is a little smaller, smaller, except for these, for some reason. These are basically American-sized, and they offer good protection. Uh, a lot of the time, when manufacturers make uh, vegan gloves, they don't do it you know, for ethical reasons. They do it just to save money. Uh, these still have very good protection though, so uh, I do recommend these um, and they're good for cold weather They're decent in the rain uh, And that's what I'm using right now now for pants uh, because I'm tall. I'm six foot three I work out like I've done bodybuilding powerlifting style training for quite some time So I have thick legs and I also have a narrow waist it is impossible for me to find uh, motorcycle pants that fit, even just normal pants. It is virtually impossible. Uh, can't wear jeans unless they're custom made. Uh, same thing with motorcycle pants. I'd need to get them custom made. Uh, so that would be a bit too expensive. Uh, so what I do instead is I get these. So these are armored compression. These are armored compression shorts. Uh, I wear them over my underwear. Uh, these are the Leet GPX uh, Armor Compression Shorts. I think that's the name. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll just correct myself in the editing. And of course, I'll leave links in the description to everything I bought. Uh, these offer a fair bit of protection. Like, of course, it's not great. It's not going to be as much protection as an actual pair of pants. It's not like there's layers of Kevlar and crap. Uh, but it's better than nothing. You've got a bit of this weird rubber padding right around your hip. Uh, you do get some padding around the kidney area. Uh, there is some decent padding on uh, your tailbone and uh, on the side of your upper thigh here. Uh, so I wear these in conjunction uh, with these knee braces. So these are the Alpine Fluid Pro knee braces. Uh, normally, uh, guys who ride in the dirt, like MX and um, Enduro uh, people, they wear these. Um, I have to protect my knees and my thighs and my shins somehow because I can't wear motorcycle pants. These are the next best, best thing. They're very comfortable. Uh, they offer really good protection. Uh, this is hard. Uh, protects your shin, um, a lot of your upper thigh. Uh, and again, these are quite comfortable, they fit me well, and uh, added bonus is they prevent hyperextension, uh, so motorcycle pants don't do that. So if you're in a situation where your leg is stuck out for some reason and your knee wants to bend too far in the wrong direction or too much inward, uh, these will prevent that from happening. So that's a good bonus. These are expensive though. Uh, I think I paid like... 540 or something for these and these were like 10% off So if you can I'd recommend getting motorcycle pants. You can find them for Cheaper than this, uh, but this is sort of something I have to do just because of my size uh, And it's very easy to find vegan motorcycle pants again most stuff is textile and mesh 
you can't, like, there are some leather pants, but, uh, you know, textile and mesh, uh, it's lighter, more breathable, more water resistant, so it's very easy to find vegan pants. Uh, but, again, I have to go this route just because of my size. I don't think too many people would have this issue, but... It's what I gotta do. And lastly, boots. So these are the CD Fusion boots. Uh, they're pretty good. Um, they're pretty quick to break in, but they they offer a decent amount of protection from hyperextension. Uh, they're not so great that way, but I mean the other way, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, they also don't twist so easily. These aren't the greatest boots, again, I wouldn't really feel comfortable wearing them going at highway speeds. You would want more protection against hyperextension and, you know, twisting. Uh, but they're pretty decent. They do have uh, toe protection on the inside, outside. Uh, you've got calf protection, shin protection. Uh, they also have a bit of padding here for your ankles. Uh, they're quite comfortable, like at first it feels like you're walking on like a wood board attached to your feet, but they do break in pretty quickly and they start to feel more like a normal boot. Uh, they're not too expensive as far as motorcycle boots go. I think I paid $320 for these. Uh, my highest recommendation for street riding would be uh, the CD Mag 1 boots, but they are a bit more expensive. I think they're close to $600, so these are almost half the price. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're going to travel at higher speeds, I'd say get the Mag 1s. If you're just going to do city city riding, uh, the CD Fusion, uh, they're fine. So with CD, a lot of their boots are primarily made of this material called Techno Micro. It's uh, a synthetic kind of leather. Um, they claim it's more breathable than leather. It's not. Uh, these boots are pretty stuffy, but it is good in cold weather. So uh, again, I was using these in cold weather, like five degrees outside, it was raining like crazy, and my feet stayed warm for almost the entire time I was out, for six hours. Uh, a bit of water does leak through, uh, through the zipper, but otherwise, like, unless you're going to be out for many, many hours, it's not going to be too much of a problem. Um, you do have to be a bit careful with CD boots, though. Uh, not all their boots are vegan for really no reason. A lot of their high-end and even lower-end boots, uh, they're mostly made out of this material Techno Micro, but they'll make, like, one piece out of leather for no freaking reason, even though it, it would be perfectly acceptable to use a synthetic material. They just use leather, I guess, because it sounds good on paper. Uh, but the CD Fusion, uh, the Mag 1 boots, if you want something a bit better, and some of their really high-end uh, MX Enduro boots, uh, some of those are vegan. But be careful when looking at CD boots. Not all of them are vegan. Some of them do have hidden leather pieces. So, uh, yeah, do your research like always. But uh, I'm happy with these boots. They're comfortable. They give enough protection for city riding. Again, like under 80 km an hour type speeds. I'd say these are perfectly adequate. Highway, not so much. So I hope you found this video helpful, and uh, of course I'll give links in the description to all the gear I use. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And as always, keep making those vegan gains, and soon I'll show you guys my motorcycle. Beef. What a relief! When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it, or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.